Alrighty, so in my last update video on the Jeep, um, I told you guys that I would make a four-year update slash ownership review on this, and um, I actually committed to it this time instead of blowing it off. Uh, so it's not completely clean, but I ran it through the car wash and, you know, cleaned the wheels up and stuff. Um, so it, it at least looks decent. Um, but yeah, it's been four years today that I bought this. Uh, June 25th, 2016 at Buck Honda uh, in Norwood, Massachusetts with 41,355 miles on it. Uh, we're sitting at 124, 550, 551, something around there. And um, it, it's really been a fantastic car. It has, um, it's done exactly what I needed it to do. And it's been a fun ride, you know. Uh, I am getting bored with it, but it's close to being paid off and then the, the thought of not having a car payment's great. Uh, so I wouldn't be so sure that it's going to be. I just don't see it happening. Um, but we'll start up front. You can see I tried to clean the headlights up um, and they look better than they did, but they're still not perfect. Uh, so I have to go over those again. Fog lights down below. I have condensation in that one um, ever since I replaced them. This one went out, so I put LEDs in both. Um, the hood, I bought it with a few rock chips and all I've done some to add to it. Um, this has been a highway car pre it predominantly its whole life. And, um, it's gonna continue that way, especially that I have the Jeep now. This is mainly like my long hauler, as I call it. Um, the rock chips are one thing. What, what's bothering me is it dents pretty easy. I had I had to have a little bit of paintless dent removal done on this. And um, I had them do the hood while they were at it. There was one here, one here, one here. Um, they're coming back a little bit, but now there's a couple more over there. Um, but, but you can see at certain angles, um, and it seems like the whole front like lip of the hood here um, wants to like bubble over and just rust um, so I'm not too happy with that there are owners down in like the southern states and stuff um, that are complaining about fading paint already um, to me I think that's a little unacceptable for a seven-year-old car um, but I guess Honda had to cheap out somewhere Seventeen-inch wheels, a little curved up, but um, well, like a lot of curved up. Um, but when I worked in the city, that's just that's just how it is. Um, and I'm on my like a, technically my fourth set of tires. Um, when I bought this, it had like a, a half tread set of the factory um, Michelin from a CMXM fours. And um, after those were done, I put on a second set of MXM fours. When those wore out, I put Conti Extreme Contacts. Hated those tires. Um, so those wore out pretty quick. I only got about 20,000 miles out of the Continentals. Um, and then I went right back to the Primacy MXM4s. And this is, I like these tires. I put these same tires on the Acura back in the day. And um, they still, still a very good tire, in my opinion. It is due for a hell of a paint correction, but again, it's it's my daily, so I'm not too worried about it. You can see out back, I added the lip spoiler, which I think makes it look a lot better. Um, just look too plain without it for my taste. I'll try to back up a little bit. I know that sun's kind of bad. There we go. You can see the exhaust tips at certain angles don't line up fully, I don't think. Um, I had a muffler delete on the car at one time. Ended up taking it off because it got too droney on the highway. Um, and ever since then, the mufflers like to rattle and they don't quite, you know, align the way they should. At least I don't think. Uh, but that's okay. Had a hell of a time with these license plate lights. Um, I had like an Amazon cheap set in there. Um, those lasted about two years. Um, and then I have diode dynamics ones in there now and they keep burning out on me. Um, the left one, it, and I've tried all sorts of different bulbs, it, but diode dynamics seems to be the best to me. And um, the left one keeps burning out and the right one only half lights. Um, and that's with brand new bulbs. So I don't know what's happening with the license plate lights, but I kind of gave up.
Close, we'll hop inside. Check out the back seat first. Not many people are really sat back here. I don't use it a whole lot, um, but it's held up fine. Besides being a little dirty, like I said, it. I didn't really do much with this. I just ran it through the car wash. back here. Armrest is held up fine, as you'd expect, for something that's barely used. Um, one thing I have to complain about, if I twist myself around here, this doesn't go in all the way anymore. Um, I don't know if it like expanded for being in the sun or whatever, but even if I slam it, and you can see it doesn't sit right all the way, um, and after driving for a little bit, it'll just bring itself down. These pockets have held up fine. Nothing to complain about there. Trunk is gonna be full of crap, uh, but nothing to report back there. You can see the Apple stickers. The first sticker I put on the car, um, this Cape Cod sticker, which really needs to be peeled off. This looks like shit. Um, but this is my first. This represents like my first road trip. Road trip. Uh, about a two hour drive down to Provincetown. I'm at the tip of Cape Cod. And uh, obviously the diode dynamic sticker, that's where all the LEDs are from. Except the headlights and the fog lights. Those are both uh, Morimito two strokes. So that's that. I'll show you guys those real quick. If they come on. I don't know if they're going to. And they are. Okay. You can see the LED running lights come on. They don't actually flicker, that's just the camera. Let's see, coming over here, my push button starter button has worn down. Um, that's my fault. I tried to hit it with a magic eraser and it just never quite worked. Uh, let me shut the car off real quick because this is my third time trying to make the video and it keeps connecting to the car and shutting the video off. So I don't, I don't want to take any chances. But um, coming to the steering wheel here, the top of the steering wheel has started to rub off a little bit um, and overall it's gotten a little bit shiny. I've done my best to keep it clean, um, but still, for 125,000 miles, I I rented a 40,000 mile Chevy Camaro in Arizona, and that looked a lot worse than this. Um, so, I it's okay, I think. Um, headlights over there, wipers, obviously. Um, these steering wheel audio controls have held up just fine. A lot of people seem to have problems with these. Um, I had a friend whose buttons uh, started to peel like really really bad like this whole thing was starting to peel um, and the CRV which has the same setup is starting to do it as well um, so I don't know it, if it's like a nail polish thing or from having actual nails um, I don't so maybe that could be it um, Bluetooth controls down there works just fine I find myself hitting this voice control button all the time um, that's kind of annoying but I've done it since day one and nothing's ever changed See the climate control here. AC still works as it should. Uh, standard dual zone climate on all models. Definitely a nice touch. Little storage cubby here. I have some napkins in there. Uh, models with nav. You have to have like your nav buttons down here. Um, a lot of people complain about this two screen layout. At least they did when this car first came out. Um, I will admit it's a little bit of. It's a little repetitive, I guess. Because um, I mainly leave it on the top screen on audio. Um, and then this bottom portion only displays the radio. So it, a little, it's a little redundant, but that's okay. Love box over there held up just fine. Um, I guess I'll show you guys that entertainment screen real quick. So once it loads. All right, so use this button over here. Let's see gas mileage. Uh, more gas mileage. That's like my trip A history. So I got.
19.8. That's probably like a mixed tank. 19.2. Um, um, that, that, that was mostly a city tank, but that was only half a tank anyways. Um, and then, you know, another full tank at 28. That was mostly a highway run. Um, so you guys get the idea there. Um, gas mileage wise, definitely not bad for a naturally aspirated V6. Um, I would take this over a, a turbo four any day. Um, six speed, I might as well. Oh, it actually did it. That's a good thing. So something I forgot to mention, the starters going out on this. Um, it's a common problem on these V6 Accords. Um, there's a T Honda released a TSB for it, but they didn't recall it. Um, I'm a little pissed about that. I wish they would have recalled it. Um, it's done it since I bought it, but it's starting to do it more frequently now. And there we go. Now it wants to start. So usually two or three times of playing with it and it starts. Um, I'd say it does that at least once, twice a week. Um, I'll get that fixed eventually, you know, so long as I keep this, which, which I think I am. Um, six speed automatic. Held up just fine. Nothing to report there. Cup holders, fine. Center consoles, fine. Um, this leather steel feels very good. Um, and I use this I use this most of the time. Um, so that's good. Passenger seat, you can see, is held up very, very well. All this is original. Um, I think it looks very good for 125,000 miles. That's just my opinion. Um, you can see there. All right, so I will pop the hood. I'll take a peek under there. Not that there's much to report. Hood struts still work just fine. It's a little dirty in here. Three and a half liter J35 V6 uh, with the outgoing 2020 TLX. This is, that was the last car to have a J Series V6 um, in a Honda sedan. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It, this is my second car. Uh, my first car was a J Series V6, and now my second one is. Um, I I don't know. I, I'm a huge fan of these motors. Like, it is a little bit of an older technology. Um, so I can't understand why Honda's getting rid of it, but it's still a fantastic motor. Um, have the timing belt done at 104, or 101 rather. Let's see there. Have that done over the winter. Things I've also done, I've done front struts. Um, Front struts, not the rears. Rears went fine. Um, this front suspension is still making noise. I don't know why. Um, shocks, that's what I did. Shocks and struts. I was trying to remember. I knew there was something else. Um, and it's still making noise, so I'm not too happy about that. This car does chew through brakes really, really bad. Again, I don't know why. Um, I'm on my, I don't know, probably third, fourth, maybe, set of brakes. And they're still acting up. I, I had all four calipers done, rotors, pads, all at once, because these both rear calipers are frozen. Another common problem with these. And um, I, they still don't feel right. So I don't know if it's the parts. But the, I, I don't buy cheap rotors either, so I, I don't know. Um, I took this car up to the White Mountains, uh, up the Kangamangas Highway, up in New Hampshire. Uh, maybe about 500 miles after getting all new brakes, I came back, my brakes are toast. So I, I don't know. Um, but that's that. And I think that's going to about do it. For the 2013 Accord on the four-year ownership anniversary. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, as always, drop them down below.